Joining us now, former White House Council of Economic Advisors. He was the council's chairman under President Trump. Look who's back with us, Kevin Hassett. Your reaction to what you just hey, heard, it's good to see you. Nearly 60% of yeah. those making 200000 are going to face higher taxes. Hillary Vaughn just reporting. What do you say to this? Right. Well, those numbers are, are correct. And the bottom line is that the Democrats have a really dirty little secret, which is the rich people that they call rich just don't have enough money to pay for all the spending they want to do. So if they really want to raise what's you know, three and a half trillion, but frankly, if you look at the numbers, it's really five trillion. If they really want to pay for all that, then they got to go after people with lower incomes. And they do it with lots of different tricks. You know, one of them is a hundred billion dollars in higher taxes on nicotine uh, products and cigarettes and so on, which are disproportionately used by uh, low-income people. And so, so they really are planning a massive tax hike on everybody. And, and it's worse than that, too. You can recall that you and I talked during the tax cut debate about how we were going to lift incomes by $4,000 if we had the corporate tax cuts. Well, I, actually, uh, middle incomes went up by $6,000. They're saying they want to repeal that, which is going to take $6,000 out of the pocket <laughs> of the average American family. And so the only good news is, you know, that this is a president who ran for president by hiding in the basement. And now he's in the White House hiding in the basement. And so the Democrats are in complete disarray. I mean, I can't imagine. It's like the low point in the history of policy leadership by a president that he said, I'm not sure if it's going to pass or not. I've got doubts. I, I mean, you, leadership is not having doubts in the basement. Leadership is putting together a plan, having lots of supporting evidence of why it's a good plan, and then convincing Congress and the and, American people uh, that they should pass it. And, and, and that's not exactly what's happening. But in some sense, it's good news <laughs> for us, because they're trying to destroy the economy with these massive tax hikes. We hear you. And the messaging is so bad. I mean, do we th do they think we, we all have turnips for brains when they say, oh, it's going to cost zero? Nobody believes that. I don't know who came up with that tagline. It's like patently, mm -hmm. breathtakingly idiotic. I mean, and we're just days away from a government shutdown. You know, John Thune mm -hmm. and Senator Mitch McConnell, they put the squeeze on the Democrats, right? They said, if you're going to tax yeah. and spend, then you, you're gonna, if you're going to do, if you're going to raise our taxes by 51 votes with only Democrat votes, then you should do all of the borrow wing at 51 votes, right? So, it's, Kevin, it looks like they really put the, right. the squeeze on Pelosi and the progressives and Bernie Sanders. What's your take? Did Bernie Sanders just blow it all up? He's telling progressives, hey, block infrastructure. Pelosi wants to do that first. Mm -hmm. And the Democrat divisions are widening. Right. So the whole thing could blow up because the progressives have like five dozen votes. They could say no to infrastructure. The moderates are saying no to your three and a half trillion social spending. Did we just pass a Rubicon on this for the Democrats? You know, it, it, I think you, you hit the nail on the head, and, and I think that I wouldn't normally say this, but I think that people should go look at Bernie Sanders' Twitter account because it's amazing how he's just like blown his top and he's swinging wildly at moderate Democrats. You know, the, the thing is, this is a, a movie that we've seen before. So remember, Bill Clinton ran as a moderate Democrat, and then he put Hillary Clinton in charge of health care. The whole thing blew up, and then they got wiped out in the midterms. And then Barack Obama ran as a reasonable guy who was going to heal America and bring us all together, and then he pushed. Obamacare and that whole blue thing blew up and they got wiped out of the midterms and now Biden is doing something like he said he's a moderate he ran against the far left in his own primary saying look I'm just going to be a moderate guy and then he's letting the left determine his agenda and it's blowing up in his face because he's basically in the basement and not leading and and so I think that what they probably can expect is getting wiped out of the midterms and that's why everybody's in disarray right now because I think the Democrats are panicked you know so since when did we since when did they all go far left a new op-ed by Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar, they say that Democrats only won with a net 90,000 votes. But why do these guys get to overhaul the entire U.S. economy with massive spending and tax hikes? And the rhetoric, the messaging is insanity. You have White House's uh, press secretary, Jen Psaki, saying it's outrageous and unfair for small businesses to raise consumer prices on their stuff that they're selling because of their tax hikes. Since when do we have this kind of top-down big government messaging spilling out like this? You would never have heard this under Clinton or Obama, Kevin. What do you say? Right. Right. You know, I, I think it, it would be OK almost if it was just far left craziness. But it, but it's actually economic illiteracy. And you, you talked about it before where you said this stuff doesn't cost anything. It's as if if you went to the grocery store and you paid cash and so you didn't run up any debt, then it was free. 
Uh, it's just economically illiterate. And right now, what's going on in the economy is that inflation is out of control. Uh, oil prices are up almost at $80 a barrel, and that's happening because of his war on fossil fuels and because they threw all this money at the economy while yeah. they're attacking supply. If you increase demand, cut supply, prices go up. And so inflation is out of control because they're economically illiterate. And I think economically illiterate is frankly worse than just left wing. Right? So right now, there's, there's nobody at home, there's nobody leading the Democratic Party, and they're in disarray because of it and and frankly you know given what they're trying to do I think disarray is probably the preferred option for we us. hear you and by the way consumer confidence just hit a, another multi-month low half of the S&P 500 stocks right. watch this they're in correction territory Kevin Hassett thank you so much for joining us it's good to see you